Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of Eve University, and this is episode 3 of my video tutorial series, How to Survive Eve Online. In this episode, we're going to get started on our very first mission. So, go to the Station Services window on the right-hand side of the screen, click on the Agents tab, right-click on Aura, and select Start Conversation. And let's move these two windows apart for a moment, and let's click next. When you've read the mission briefing, click accept to begin. Straightforward enough. You do want to read, read the mission briefing. In this case, we are going to leave the station, fly to a location in space, retrieve a ship, and then use it to carry back an item from a local Galente cargo rig. So, click accept. Proceed down the hallway to the ship hangar balcony. There, you can board your capsule and undock. Alright, let's click close. Let's close the character sheet and training queue. By the way, notice that uh, skills have progressed while I was waiting for this video to process. Let's turn the camera around and you can double left click at the end of the ramp to walk over there. And you can left click and drag to look at your environment from different angles. You are ready to undock and get your first ship. This is not a simulation. The moment you undock, you will be entering a live environment. Get to your ship quickly. All right, in the 3D environment, you can left click this thing here on the balcony edge to undock. Or from anywhere, you can just click the undock button in the, at the bottom of the Neocom in the lower left corner of the screen. Or lower right corner of the screen if that's where you left the Neocom. So you don't have to walk all the way out here to undock, you can just click this button. But either method works. Whenever you are given a mission, you will be provided with a bookmark to that location, allowing you to warp there. And to warp there, you right-click anywhere in empty space, go to Agent Missions, the name of the mission, in this case covering the basics. There should be a submenu, Encounter Dead Space. There's another submenu, Warp to Location, and left-click on that. Warp Drive active. Recall that in the previous episode, I turned off camera shake. When entering or leaving warp, your camera would shake a lot normally, but I find that annoying, so I turned it off. As long as we are in warp, I'm going to point out something to you. This window here is called the overview. It's a list of items... Take control of your camera drones now to change the view around your capsule. Every ship you pilot comes pre-fitted with self-piloting camera drones. These drones function as your eyes in space and provide full tactical awareness. Right. Might as well do that. You can left click and drag to turn the camera. Let's click next. Camera drones can also move in and out from your ship. So you can use the scroll wheel. If you if the background has focus, just left click on the background to give it focus. You can use the scroll wheel to do that. Or you can hold down both mouse buttons and move up or down to zoom in and out. Let go of both mouse buttons, then just left click and drag to return to just rotating the camera. Now turning the camera around and zooming in and out is one way to be aware of your surroundings, but another way is the overview. Uh, and the overview is going to be very important to you whenever you are in space. So let's first left click and drag the selected item box out of the way, because I like to put the overview in the upper right corner and let's make it big and let's make the name column a little bit shorter since we don't need it to be quite so large um, and let's make the type also a little bit shorter okay the overview is your main method of being aware of entities around you there are all sorts of different entities around you you can also sort it right now it's sorted by icon you can left click a column header to reverse the sort, or left click a different header 
to sort by that column instead. So I can sort by distance, by name, by type, alphabetically, but I usually keep it at distance. Let's left click the acceleration. Uh, hold on, let's click next on the tutorial. You can control your drones manually and look freely about your environment. Use them now to locate the nearby acceleration gate. That would this be this giant thing over our heads. By the way, you can turn the camera without moving it by right click and drag. And when you let go, it will snap back to looking at your capsule. Let's click next. I've relayed instructions to your Neocom on how to perform basic commands from your ship. Try selecting the acceleration gate now with left click. You can do that either in space or on the overview. Either method works. And let's make the selected item box a little bit bigger. Click next. These next instructions cover the use of your context menu. Try using it now. Right click the acceleration gate and select activate gate from the context menu. When activated, the gate will warp you to the next area. If you are ever unsure about how to interact with something, open the context menu to see what options are available. Right click works on quite a lot of different things. You can right click uh, objects in the overview, you can right click empty space, you can right click chat tabs. Uh, there's a whole lot of things that you could right click. Uh, but let's right click the acceleration gate either in space or in the overview and as the lady says Warp drive activate. activate the gate <clears throat> Excellent work. You have arrived at the location. Locate your ship and board it. Now this is your capsule. If your capsule is destroyed, <clears throat> then according to the EVE lore, what happens is that the moment your capsule starts to crack, this device attached to the back of your head, which not only connects you to the ship's computer, it's also got a transneural brain scanner. So you're do when your pod begins to crack, you're doomed. The transneural brain scanner will send an energy beam into your brain, scan every single neuron, and send all of that information to a waiting medical clone in a station somewhere, and you will wake up in your new clone. That is how you come back from death. Usually, though, you're not going to be traveling in your pod. You will be traveling in a ship, and here is where your first ship is provided. Uh, you can either left-click the ship and then left-click board ship, or you can right-click the ship and select board ship. Either method works. Now you are in a ship. If your ship is destroyed, your capsule will be ejected from it, and you can still get out with your capsule intact. A capsule pilot must be aware of their shields, armor, and structure levels, as well as velocity and capacitor power. All of this information and more is contained at a glance within your heads-up display. Though why the capacitor looks blank, I have no idea. It should look like this but let's click next. Common interactions are available in the selected items panel. Select the acceleration gate now and activate it from the panel. So you left click the gate either in overview or in space and click the button. Warp drive active. Let's click next. You are making great progress. Now, travel to the final area of this training site and locate the item you are asked to retrieve. It's located inside the Galente cargo rig, uh, which is represented in space by a white diamond also on the overview. So just left click it and click approach. And let's listen to the rest of the tutorial. If you need to take manual control, Give your ship a direction, and it will travel that way at full speed. You must now retrieve the item from the structure in front of you. You have new instructions in your Neocom on how to transfer items to your ship's cargo. 
or I could give you this, my, those instructions myself. Let's hit control spacebar to stop moving now that we're in range. Click this box to open the cargo. Click this button down here to open your own cargo hold, and let's move these two windows aside. And just click and drag from the cargo rigs window to your window. And click next. You've done well, pilot. You should walk back to the station and dock. Just left click this box. Stations are represented by a square. So just left click the square and click the dock button right here. Warp drive active. The station is not within docking range, so your ship will automatically try to warp to the station first and then attempt to dock. By the way, CCP only did in-game voiceovers for the first initial set of missions. Uh, so for those of you who watched the old series, uh, the in built-in in-game voiceovers only go as far as getting you to the career funnel missions. For those of you who are watching this for the first time, Docking I'll explain what that means requested. later. Docking request accepted. Click next. Contact me through the agent's menu to complete the mission. Right click and start conversation. Let's move this out of the way and complete the mission. All right, so that's our first mission. In we will cover the next mission in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching.